again, since it does affect a regional area, that we should all contribute fairly. You know, and I understand it's a pilot program. I appreciate Prescott Valley seeing the foresight going forward. I'm jumping on board. And also for being financially responsible and budgeting correctly for it. I'm all about regional cooperation. I don't believe that we do anything well just by yourself. We are a group, and we will be successful as a county, city, towns working together. The area of the collision is on an S-curve with installed guardrail. Vehicle lost control on the straightaway, however, of the S-curve where no guardrail is installed. The advisory speed for the curves is 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit for the area is 30 miles per hour. The driver was traveling at approximately 15 miles per hour. One of the children was flown with serious injuries from the scene to Phoenix Children's Hospital. The other three patients have since been released from the hospitals that they were transported to. We encourage people to have a plan in place up front, you know, make a plan before going out, know who's going to be their designated driver. We would much rather people make a good conscious choice beforehand, and then they wouldn't have to worry about the enforcement aspect of it. What we're finding is that, unfortunately, even on our enforcement campaigns as recently as this past weekend, we're finding more DUI drivers than we are people that have identified themselves as being a designated driver for the group. Friday the 6th and Saturday the 7th, the helicopter will land at 3 o'clock, and Santa and Mrs. Claus will be on the helicopter. And we definitely have to thank Guidance Aviation for that. Organizations, individuals, businesses, there's always unique stuff like that. It's really kind of cool to see how the schools will decorate the trees with their mascots, or the band director, Tom Weigert, has come out. Last year it was a whole bunch of drums stacked up.